Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today I'll be reviewing Pure Cosmetics 12 piece eyeshadow set called Soiree Diaries. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting out and I would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, please, I welcome any comments down below. I'll have all of the products used uh, in the description box as well. Um, please ask me any questions uh, that you may have and if you'd like to see this quick uh, tutorial and review, um, please just keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm going to go in with Mogul. Uh, I've already prepped and primed my lid. Um, Mogul is just an all around eyeshadow color that I'm using as a base to blend the other eyeshadows on top. So I'm just going to go around uh, pretty much all over my lid and apply that. As you can see, there's not much color with that, but that's what I want, it's just so the other shadows will blend easier. Next, I'm going in with Splurge, a reddish brown color, going in and going in around the crease. I didn't get much color payoff on the first swipe, but I didn't get much product on my brush, so I put a little bit more. It's not picking up that well on camera, it's a little washed out, but it is a little bit um, more color payoff than you can see there, but it's just starting to build some color into my crease. Alright, next I'm going in with a darker brown shade called Epic. It's a little less, it's not too red brown, but uh, so it's pretty much a neutral dark brown going in and just going over what I already went over in the crease and just darkening it up a bit. And I apologize for not being centered on the screen. I. It's my first time and it's all a learning experience. Alright, now I'm going in with a shimmer shadow called Glitzy. It's a gold uh, shimmer. I really love the color payoff on this right away. It just kind of was uh, super powerful and it was very blendable and smooth. Got a lot of color payoff from that as you can see. I just went back in with my blending brush just to um, smooth out the edges from that uh, shimmer shadow since it was so strong. Alright, now I'm going in with another darker shimmer called Dazzle. And doing that on the outer part of my lid. So there's a contrast between the lighter gold and then now this darker uh, shimmer shade on the outside. And just packing that on the lid. I'm going back in with that dark brown color Epic and just darkening up the crease to get a little bit more of a dramatic effect. And it's kind of also at the same time blending that dazzle, uh, darker shimmer out. And I'm making a V on the end of my lid and just bringing it underneath a little bit on the outer corner. I'm going underneath now with um, whatever was left on my brush and just going underneath and straying it along so that it's a little bit more um, cohesive. So just bringing a little bit of the shadow that was left on the brush underneath. Alright, that's pretty much my finished eye look there. So I'm going to add some mascara and wing liner and that's pretty much it. There's a couple pictures of the finished look with some uh, flash photography. Alright, so I applied my mascara and eyeliner and this is the final look. And as far as my overall thoughts for the palette, uh, I really enjoy the look that I did create. Um, do I think everyone needs this palette? No. Um, it's definitely a neutral palette that probably most people have but if you don't and or if you're looking for something to travel with this would be nice it does have a great big mirror um, and the shadows are really great formula they're buttery they're pretty long lasting they wore really well over the past couple days I've been wearing them um, is it worth the money um, mm, questionable for 30 to 40 dollars depending on if you're in Canada or in the US uh, that's kind of pricey per shadow 
so I would say maybe if you're looking for something with neutrals and some punchier colors or a little bit more variety, then maybe go with something from Sephora or a brand like Morphe that's a little bit more affordable, uh, at least per cost of each eyeshadow. But it is a nice palette. I can't knock it. I can't knock the formula. So Pure Cosmetics did a great job with that. Um, is it a must buy? To me, not really. But I do like the palette and I will be using it uh, more and it's great for an everyday look and if you want to use the shimmers for an evening look I think they're really great formula and they they wore really well and super smooth so I did enjoy that um, that's pretty much it for me thank you so much for watching um, if you could subscribe down below comment and like I would really appreciate some feedback have a great day